Alright, welcome back to the final episode of the Elder Scrolls 1 Arena. In this episode, we go on ahead and take down Jagar Tharn and hopefully get Uriel Septim back to uh, this plane from whatever plane of existence he's currently been banished to. So yeah, let us go on ahead and go. I'm excited, man. Come on. There we go. I have watched as you blundered your way to this place. At one time, I even considered approaching you with an offer to ease my Imperial Guards. But it is plain that you are not worthy of such a position. Be not fooled by what you would call success in your journey across the Empire. For you have never faced a being as powerful as I. Your death shall be slow and torturous, a suffering that shall span the millennium. Come, I await you in the dungeons below. Okay, fantastic. Here we go, let us save. And we're going to save all the way back up here at Talon Start. Might as well say and call this Taloned End. Fantastic. Let us go ahead and use a little bit of light, even though I think I'm all good. Uh, so yeah, this is going to be the final episode of uh, the Elder Scrolls Arena. However long it takes is however long it takes. Could This could be a 30-minute episode, this could be a 40-minute episode, this could be an hour, this could be an hour and a half. I do not know how long this dungeon is, uh, but you're going to see it and I'm not cutting, I'm not... So what you see is what you get. This is going to be it. Uh, I guess we're going to go on ahead and use this time also to talk about uh, some things in regards to uh, scheduling. If you've been watching in these episodes, then guess what? You've probably already heard this, but there's some people who might have been skipping around or might just not have heard. Uh, come on. Wow, you guys are tanky. Oh, hello. Well, okay. I mean... Did you guys eat a fireball? No, okay. And goodbye. Thank you. Uh, let us pull up our map and see where... Is that a glitch or is that not supposed to happen? Because the entire thing's mapped out. Okay, hold on. Let me pull up the map again. Hmm. That's uh, that's weird. Okay, well then I guess we're gonna go and follow the map. So we're gonna guess we're gonna go this way. Uh, so let's I guess talk a little bit about the the schedule again. If you've you've been watching this, you know the schedule. But uh, this is the final episode of the Elder Scrolls One Arena. Uh, tomorrow there's going to be one final episode of the Elder Scrolls One Arena. It's going to be not a traditional episode. It's going to be a review. And it's going to be us going out into the wilderness since we never really did the wilderness in, in this game and kind of looking and just kind of exploring that as I talk about what I liked about this game, what I didn't like about this game as uh, let us first door on our left and go this way uh, as I talk about things I liked and didn't like. And then that's going to be it. It's probably not going to be too long of an episode. It's, it's going to be probably, if, if I had to guess, it's going to be roughly a 10 to 15 minute episode. It's, it's not going to be that long. Then the very next uh, same day of, of that review going up, probably about an hour after that review goes up, there's going to be the first episode of Yakuza 0. Uh, if you have never played any of the Yakuza games, I guess let me give you a little bit of a breakdown of what those games are and, and what to expect. They are a... you doubt my ability. I do not doubt my ability to cast open. Um, as we go down, there's a vampire here, which is fantastic. Uh, but there is not a vampire anymore. Goodbye. Uh, let us... is this also mapped out? This is not mapped out. Okay. So let us, I guess, hug the left wall. Hugging at the left wall, as is tradition. It's worked for us here. Might as well work for us to end the, the, the series. Uh, Yakuza 0, as there's a lich somewhere right there. So I'm going to say uh, adios to you. I can do magic too if I can actually hit. That's the issue, though. There. Okay. Uh, let us pull up our map and say guess go this way 
somebody is still shooting at me. Uh, anyway, Yakuza is a is a, it's hard to describe. Just give if give Yakuza Zero a, a, a chance. It's it's a bizarre, bizarre, bizarre game. It's, it's really all, all 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 I can say. It's it's very different than this, but uh, you will have a very good time. And I've only played through the first uh, six chapters of, of the, that game. Then everything from then on, only for that game, but the rest of the series will be 100% blind. And uh, it's going to be a, a fun, fun, wild time. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be uh, the schedule for uh, tomorrow is going to be... Uh, oh, hello. No, not cure disease. I'm not diseased. I'm actually quite healthy. Thank you very much. Uh, let us use some not healing potions. Let's use some restore power potions. Uh, so tomorrow episode a uh, re review of the Elder Scrolls Arena goes up about an hour later about an hour later is going to go the episode uh, one of the Yakuza 0 there is a vampire somewhere there's a lich somewhere let us pull up our map and see let's guys go this way uh, then a week one week after the review goes up seven days after the review goes up will be the first episode of whew, I just barely saw my health let us shield, let us potion of healing let us restore power potions as someone's shooting me this way hello Mr. Wraith um, seven days after the review for uh, Arena goes out is going to be the first episode of Daggerfall in Daggerfall Unity uh, again my knowledge of that is I have Daggerfall Unity loaded up. It's working. I do have to mod the game. I have to check the stability of the mods I will be putting in. I don't know 100% certain what those mods are going to be. I'll tell you in the first episode what mods I'm using. Um, but that game, unlike this game, is 100% blind. Is that where we... No, it's not where we need to go. That game is 100% blind. I have no knowledge whatsoever about that game. At least where this game, this game I'm playing right now, was about 95% blind. I did have previously experience playing through the Imperial Sewer. So, uh, yeah, so that's that's going to be the, uh, the schedule coming up as I get attacked by a wraith. Thank you very, very much. Good bye thank you and uh, I guess we're gonna go back this way because there was nothing unfortunately oh well and that is just a closet that is a robot in my face and I really don't like it thank you and is that a that is a secret wall I knew it fantastic and goodbye to you and I'm very happy I went and bought more restore power potions because I'm using them a lot more oh and you just decided to sneak up on me like a like a sneaky 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 person and goodbye to you and let us say I guess go continue going this way because this might be a secret door it's not a secret door it's just a dead end okay then let us I guess go back this direction and go here yes yeah, so this is I again this is all one recording session so if you're seeing I believe we I believe uh, everything from staff piece number seven to here is is uh, one recording session. So this is just one gigantic record recording session. In fact, I can tell you we've been recording three hours right now, uh, according to OBS. Um, so I have no idea exactly what episode it is, but I want to say it is roughly ish episode 23 or 24 ish. So, again, we didn't make it 30 episodes. We made it 20, closer to 25. Uh, I don't know why I'm fighting you with, with swords when I can just fireball you in the face. I mean, that's. I'm playing a sorcerer character. If now, if there's ever a time to use, use magic, this was it. Uh, let's use some restore power potions and get topped up. Fantastic. And take you and see that that was a complete and utter waste of my time, I believe. Yes, it was, unfortunately. Okay, well, okay, we're going back out. And we're going to go this way. And who knows how many floors this dungeon's going to be. I think the maximum we've had is, is four full four floors. But with this being the, I'm assuming, final dungeon. Oh, hello. Goodbye. Excuse me? 
There we go. Uh, let us, I guess, go this direction and see if we can... Oh, hell oh, hello, everybody. Goodbye to you. Goodbye to you. I can do match two. I just got to hit it. There we go. Goodbye. And there we go. I That was... Want to be my one of my next statements is also we didn't hit level 20, which is unfortunate, but here we go. We finally hit level 20. Fantastic. Let us did that actually boost anything? That did not boost anything. If we put it to strength, does that actually boost strength up? No, it does not. Okay, I, I had to ask. So if it doesn't do anything, let's just go on ahead and, and put it into to endurance because we is tradition. Uh, is somebody attacking me from behind? No one's attacking me from behind. Uh, but a vampire is regenerating, and here is that vampire right now. So let me kill you. Let me restore power potion up. Let me go on ahead and cast shield again, because I have no idea where I'm at, and I'm feeling a little bit vulnerable. Let's cast heal, and then use more restore power potions. I mean, we bought 300 of them, so we might, or close to 300 of them, might as well use them, because uh, we're not going to be able to uh, take them with us tomorrow. Oh, I guess technically we'll be able to take them with them tomorrow, because we're doing a review episode out in the wilderness tomorrow. But uh, I also don't know if, after this is over, if there's going to be the ability, once the, the game is over, to, to have like a free roam. You know, if the game could end, and that could be it, and I just have to load into a new save. Oh, hello. Goodbye. I am diseased. You made the unfortunate uh, choice of diseasing me when I had the ability to cure myself. Uh, let us. Oh my god, okay. Let us. This is. Come on, that map is doing that thing where it glitches again. I guess we're going this way because I know this is a direction we've not been. And then we're gonna pull up our map again and say, let us, I guess, go this direction. And hopefully we can find where we need to be. I'm going to try to make this episode, this final episode, uh, the one gigantic chunk. I do not want to do a whole lot of cutting. Granted, if the next floor is, oh, congratulations, you got to find 75 keys, uh, then guess what? We're, I'm not going to subject you to that. But, but barring something like that, this is going to... Oh, hello, robot galore. That was, again... I know they're iron golems, or golems, or however you want to pronounce them, uh, but uh, they're robots. They look like robots. Is that the way down? That is the way down. Hello, Mr. Wraith, and hello to you, moaning in my ear, don't appreciate it, and let us save the game here at Talon End as we proceed to get just bum-rushed by two robots and say goodbye. All right, fantastic. Let us see. We are now, this is officially the third floor, I believe. So that is good progress. So let us go on ahead and go. I guess we're gonna continue to do the hug the left wall strategy because again, it's the final episode. You might as, might as well, uh, you know, continue the, the tradition. It sometimes has worked, as in Elden Grove. It sometimes has not worked, as in uh, Mirkwood. But uh, we do not need to, as of right now, go into plan two of once hugging the left wall does not work, which is just panically run around until you find what you're looking for. Hello, Miss. You know what's funny? In all of this, in this entirety of this game, I have not known that once you hit the the uh, the uh, hot key. For magic, if you hold down the S and the W key, that it scrolls. I have not known that the entire game, and here we are at the at the final episode here, uh, learning that. Okay. So, and here is going to be one of my complaints: is mobs literally spawning directly, just right on your face. They came out of literally nowhere and said, "You know what? Screw it. Just right here." And then let's restore power. I am so glad I got restore power potions. Because I have probably used close to 100 already. Is there anything in here? There is items. There is a gigantic number of about 90. Oh, look. It's ever, it's our panthers. These panthers, I know they're hellhounds. I know they're hellhounds. But they may be 
they may be my favorite enemy in the game just because they look really kind of cute uh, let us go in here see if there's anything in here there's not hello panther goodbye panther let's go in here there's nothing okay and then what about this way there's a vampire somewhere because he's regenerating are you in here you're not in here okay that's fine with me and let's go this way and there is a vampire somewhere and I'm a little oh and here is homunculus uh, at least one homunculus and let us go this direction and say can you please give me a little bit of space to breathe sir thank you uh, let us pull up our map, see where we're at. Okay. I believe this probably looks like... Oh, no, maybe not. I can actually jump up over here. Fantastic. And say... Night Night Hellhound. And there was a secret door. I thought there was. And, oh, here we go. We found our way down. Fantastic. Let us save here at Talon End. And we are now... I believe this is the fourth floor. So let us go on ahead and go this could theoretically be the last floor or you know who knows maybe the final dungeon has you know 10 floors i i i don't know uh let us i guess go this direction hello lich goodbye lich hello second lich goodbye second lich uh what was that do you guys hear like that pterodactyl sound and thing in my ear? Um, oh, here's another lich. Fantastic. Goodbye. It, I guess this is. I guess this is just the four liches because that's all we faced so far. Uh, let us, I guess, go around and clear out these liches. Hello. And adios. And let us see. Um, this looks like something, this middle thing, so we're gonna go ahead and go try and try and go around to it as somebody hello just try and shoots me in oh god. You were a fool to confront me, and now have paid the up. Okay, that is death number twenty-one or twenty-two. I'll have to check in, in editing what that is, but uh that is quite unfortunate. I got a little too too cocky right there at the end. Uh, that is uh, unfortunate, but uh, what you're gonna do? Okay, so there was a death in the, in the final episode. I need to be a little bit more uh, wary on my shield. Come on, hit with fireball. There we go. And you have a bunch of restore power potions, so make sure to use it. Okay, kill you, restore power, cast shield just to be extra careful not healing you stupid idiot there we go and let us cast fireball at you god night oh you know what that speaking of good night do you know what that reminds me of if we have the ability to actually face jay garthar in a boss fight which there's been no boss fight so far in this game whatsoever but if we have the ability to face jay garthar in a boss fight we are absolutely going to cast night night on him because we've only used it two other times, and it, every other time it's instantaneously killed. So it'd be really hilarious to see that if we can one-shot uh, the, the final, I'm assuming, boss, because I'm assuming we're probably going to face him. Again, I'd be really disappointed if uh, if we didn't have a, some kind of Jaegar uh, barn, like, at least confrontation. Uh, let us say we've made decent progress, and I don't want to die randomly to a... A lich again let us go on ahead and cast shield again i'm being hyper vigilant now i don't want more than one death in the final episode <laughs> okay let's go uh that possibly could be a way but let us continue going this direction and clearing out liches at the moment because liches are just the bane of my existence at the time right now I'm making sure they're not sneaking up on me and go this way and make sure everything is cleared out and before you stands a great steel door its surface is hot as if behind it blaze a great fire the small sulfur and brimstone hangs in the still dead air okay uh, let us go here i guess let us mark this as door 
and save that and we'll come back if we need to but I want to make sure we've cleared out all liches uh, is that a dead end? That is a dead end. Okay, well, I take that back. I guess let us immediately go in here. Let us, I guess, get restored up on power. Let us go on ahead and use shield. Let us restore up on power. Again, just because, why not? And then, is there anything else we can cast on ourselves? Uh, let's cast light one more time. Let us cast invisibility. Why not? And let us cast anything else. Why not cast? Let's cast. We do not have enough to cast resist fire. Okay, well, hold on. Let's top up on that. And who knows? Let us cast resist fire. And then even more heal uh, power potions to get us up to top. And then if we see what we need to see, we will. Oh, and it's really good. I, I cast uh, resist fire potion or uh, resist fire on myself because uh, I just. Oh, hello. I just fell into lava. Goodbye. If I can hit with this damn fireball, man. There. There we go. Okay. And let us... I guess we're going to have to do a little bit of swimming. So, oh well. Here we go. Up, 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 up. Oh, thank God. Okay. And... Hmm. Okay, well, let's try and go around the other... There's no other way to go around. Okay, well, then let's, I guess, go this direction. Fantastic. Let's get up here quickly. Uh, let us... I guess somebody's shooting something at us, so let us... Wait, who are you? You see a battle mage. Is that Jagar Tharn? That has to be Jagar Tharn. Okay, well, then, if it is, I, I want to be, have the ability to cast Night Knight. Silence. Oh, you cast silence on me, you son of a... Uh, let us, I guess then... How long is silence last for? Because I, re I really want to cast Night Knight. Oh my god, he cast silence on me. Oh no, I really wanted to... Okay, well fine then, I guess we'll just come and attack you this way then. And then I don't think I'm doing any damage whatsoever, unfortunately. And who knows how long it's going to be until I can cast this. Oh, for the love of God. How long is silence last for? You are silenced. Oh, no. Okay, well then uh, let us, I guess, maybe leave or go in here. Your ability to... Hold on. You doubt your ability. Well, I got no other option at the moment. I'm picking it and we're going on about our way and taking that because I need to... to have time to, to, to not uh, be silenced. And can I close this? No. Okay. I really wanted to cast Night Night on him. Oh, I am so bummed. I am so bummed that that, that happened, man. Oh. I am so, so bummed. I so wanted to kill him. You absolute scumbag. Oh, you know what, Jagar Tharn, that is it. Least favorite enemy in the game. You took any joy I would have had in this and just decimated it. Um, I wonder if we use free action, if we use that, is that mean now we can cast Night Knight? Oh, no. I'm also stuck. He has stuck me in a corner. Oh no, I'm dead. I am so dead. Oh no. Well, here we go. Death number 22. Or 23. Because I cannot get out of this corner. You absolute scumbag. I'm not trying to travel. I'm trying to do anything. Okay, 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 okay. It seems like I can cast now. Night, night. Thank you. Okay we're looking for something. I don't know what we're looking for, but we're looking for something, and we're looking to get out of here, and and, and first off, let's drink a bunch of Restore Power Potions, because we were able to cast Night Night finally. Okay, thank you. Uh, doubt my ability. Okay, well then, let's cast Open, 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 and go boom, and see what we have anything, anything, anything. There's a key. Fantastic. I found a Mithril key. I don't know what it's for. Uh, 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 are you dead? I, I think he's dead, dead. Oh, he's dead. Okay, thank God. We don't have to worry about anything. I guess let's go in here. And there's an egg. Apparently there's a dinosaur egg in here. 
Okay, well, let's click it and see what it does. Uh, hello? Uh-oh. It seems like the game crashed. That is... The game crashed. That is unfortunate. Okay. Uh, so it seems like we get to do that all over again. Fantastic. So, uh, here's what we're going to do. I am going to make the executive decision, even though I said we're not going to make any cuts. I'm going to make a cut. I'm going to make a cut right here and right now. And uh, I will be back once uh, we figure out what the hell happened, because that is really, really, really unfortunate that that ruined the... Uh, that. All right, we are back. We've made it all the way here. Let us save here. That way, in case, God forbid, that happens again, we can maybe, hopefully, figure out what the hell's going on. Uh, let us go on ahead and do everything we need to do again. Let us recast shield, use a bunch of restore power potions. Let us cast resist fire, use an insane amount of restore power potions, and then cast invisibility and jump, and then hopefully we are able to cast night night this time without getting silenced. And then hopefully, when all of this is done, we have the ability then to... Hello. Uh, I'm going to cast Night Knight at you and say goodbye. And there we go. Dead as dead can be. All right, so we don't need to worry about anything. Let us go in here, because this was the location of the key that we needed. So let's cast open on you and get the Mythal key. Okay. Let us save here and Let's save over the exploring save and say that this is end two and make sure that things go correctly and let us hopefully see that this time this everything works, fingers crossed. Yes, okay. Whew. We got Indiana Jones. Oh, he's back. Fantastic. We were able to get him back. Welcome back, Uriel. Septum the Thou seventh. Thou truly a child of the Empire. I thank thee for thy assistance. I have a particular idea as to the question of your service in mind. From this day forth, thou art named the Eternal Champion. From thy hand shall be dealt the needs of the Empire. I, Uriel Septum, true Emperor of Tavriel, do decree and thus make law. Arise, my champion, and take thy rightful place, my son. You have proven yourself a worthy champion of the Empire, and such service shall not easily be forgotten. Hang not your sword above your the mantle, nor place your spellbook upon the shelves. Many such adventures still await your hand. This was but one chapter in the story of the Elder Scrolls. And we do, we get to come out. Fantastic. Uh, let us save then. Save the game and say that this is truly the end. So, uh, let's quickly go and see if we can go actually talk to the Emperor back in the palace and see if he has any added text at the end of the game. If not, that is going to be the end of the episode. And we made level 20. We made it, I believe, close to 25 episodes so overall this was uh, this was uh, an experience man i had a lot more fun playing this game than i thought i was going to i had a really 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 enjoyable time playing this game now maybe it's because i decided to go outside of my comfort zone and play a magic character which i don't normally do and magic is somehow busted in this game so it made this game much easier uh, can we go in here? As you approach the palace gates, a guard respectfully bows and informs you that due to catastrophic forces unleashed during the final conflict with the Imperial Battle Mage, the palace is currently under reconstruction. Perhaps he suggests you could return once the repairs are complete. Alright, so that is the end of the game. So, 
I want to thank you guys so, 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 so much for, for joining me on this journey as we play through the Elder Scrolls 1 Arena. It, is, it has been so um, awesome that you guys have been here throughout this journey, and I, I really, truly, truly do appreciate it. Um, again, I've explained how the schedule is going to go uh, starting uh, from here on out, so I'll explain it briefly one more time. So tomorrow you're going to see a review episode of the Elder Scrolls 1 Arena. That same day, about an hour later, you're probably going to see Yakuza 0, the first episode of Yakuza 0, as Yakuza is going to be the next series, joining the Elder Scrolls series on the channel as a featured game. One week after the review episode of Elder Scrolls Arena comes out, we're going to start the Elder Scrolls 2 Daggerfall in Daggerfall Unity. And there will be an episode of, of that coming out one week after. Uh, I have, uh, I, and I don't know what I said at the beginning of this series about uh, release schedule, but I'm, I'm going to go ahead and make an amendment to that statement and, and say that uh, Arena, a new episode of Arena released every single day until the game is complete. I do not know if I made that promise for every Elder Scrolls game, but if I did, I'm going to go ahead and make an amendment and say that that is not going to be the case. I am instead going to take the policy of under promise and over deliver rather than make a promise and then not be able to keep it because i do not know what life hands you sometimes life hands you a, a, a you know a, a bum hand and you gotta be able to deal with it so i'd rather be able to knowingly be able to guarantee that i can make a, a, a promise and keep it so this is what the, the, the promise is this is the guarantee for all the elder scrolls games from here on out at a bare minimum, a bare minimum, you will see a new episode of the Elder Scrolls games, Daggerfall, and then eventually Morrowind, Oblivion, Skyrim, ESO, all of that. You'll see a bare minimum uh, new episode of one time a week, bare minimum. I feel like I can keep that absolutely barring like a computer problem. Uh, however, the goal is to still have an episode uh, every day or at least maybe every other day but definitely try and keep it every day but the, the guarantee is a, is a video every week so that is something I feel comfortable with and, and feeling able to, to guarantee to get out um, so the only way to stay up to date on, on, on when videos are released are, are two things number one I said it at the end of every video if you haven't hit the subscribe button on this channel yet go on ahead and hit the subscribe button it's going to help me out it'll help the channel out it'll help the channel grow and it'll help you out by telling you when a new episode of The Elder Scrolls comes out there's going to be, a, uh, again, you've heard the schedule, new episode tomorrow for a review, then Yakuza 0, and then a week after it's going to start Daggerfall. Uh, if you also, another way to stay up to date on what channel, what videos are coming to the channel, hit uh, follow me on Twitter at the SSH Gaming is, a, is another great way. I'm not going to fill your timeline up with you know a bunch of, of nonsense. I'll, I'll tweet very very limitedly as it is. I'm not a big fan of social media, but uh, yeah, follow me there. If you like this video, please take a minute to hit the thumbs up button. I, I it, it would mean so much to me. It, it helps the channel, whether it be large or, or small. It really, really does. So if, if you enjoyed this episode or this series, or if you enjoyed me in any way, shape, or form, take a minute, go down, hit the thumbs up button. Um, yeah, so thank you guys so, 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 so much uh, for being along with me on this journey of through the Elder Scrolls 1 arena. And I look forward to seeing, you know, maybe some of you joining me for the Yakuza series. Uh, if you've never seen it, come at least give it a try, and I uh, also look forward to seeing you guys all join me for Daggerfall in Daggerfall Unity, which will be a 100% blind playthrough. So thank you guys so, so much for uh, the, the, the love and the, um, the support you've given this series over the last number of episodes. I, I truly, truly appreciate it. I cannot even begin to put into words the, the amount I appreciate it. And uh, yeah. So I will see you tomorrow for a review of the Elder Scrolls 1 Arena, and then I will see you additionally, uh, technically if you're only watching Elder Scrolls, I'll see you a week from uh, tomorrow for Daggerfall in Daggerfall Unity. So I will see you all later. Goodbye.